Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I am going to discuss how you can get the downloaded file during the Selenium execution from remote machine to your local machine. When we run our execution on a Selenium grid or remote machine, then there are some scenarios where we have to download the file. And then we need to perform the validations on those downloaded files. When the script performs the download operation, then that file is downloaded to the Selenium node or remote machine where execution is running. But because we want to validate whether that file is downloaded or not, or if I want to read the content of that file to perform the further validations, then Initially, it was a little bit difficult to automate this process and there was not a straight solution to this because we don't know on which node the execution is running and the file is downloaded when we have multiple nodes attached in a Selenium grid. But now Selenium has introduced support to get the downloaded files from the remote machines to the client machine where my code is running. So now we can fetch the file which is downloaded over the remote machine or the node machine of Selenium Grid. We can get the details of those downloaded files and then we can even move that file from the remote machine to our local machine. And then we can perform the input output operations on those files. Now the process of automating the file download scenarios is easy and simple. So let me show you how you can do that. First of all, I'm going to create the Chrome options as I want to run my test on Chrome browser. After that, using the option variable, we need to set the enable downloads property as true. When we set this flag as enable download is equal to true, then it means that the file can be downloaded from a remote node to a local machine where the code is running. If this flag is off, then we won't be able to download the file from the remote machine. So I'm gonna set this flag value as true. After that, let me initialize the web driver object by using remote web driver. Into this, I need to pass the Selenium grid URL where the hub is running. And then in the second argument, I'm going to provide the Chrome options over here. After that, we'll be moving to a web page where we can perform the download operation. So I'm using a demo web app where we have the download functionality available. I have the URL of the demo web app where we can perform the download operation. And then I'm going to maximize the browser window. Then to start the file download, we have to click on the download button. If I move to the application, then this is the application you can see where I'm going to perform the download operation. When we click on this download button, then it is going to download a file. And this is the XPath which I'm going to use to identify this download button. So let me copy this XPath and then I'll paste it here. After that, I'm going to put some weight over here because the file might take a little bit time to download. So let's wait for five seconds. And then I'm going to use the list of string objects, which is going to hold all the downloaded file information. To get the downloaded file information, we have to cast the web driver object with the remote web driver. And then 
we have one method available called get downloaded files this method returns all the downloaded files on the selenium node let's say if you have downloaded the 10 files then this list will store all the 10 file names but currently i'm going to have only a single file so i'll print that file name which will be placed at the 0th index now one thing before we execute our test we have to make sure that when we start our selenium node then at the time of running we have to pass this command enable manage download and the value of this parameter as true when we provide this command enable manage downloads to true then only we can download the file from a remote machine to the client machine so we have to mark this flag as true while setting up our grid now let me run the command to start the selenium node if you want to know how to set up a selenium grid then you can watch my previous videos on selenium grid setup the link is provided in the description now we can see that the node is started and connected with the hub so i'm gonna run my test you can see the test has been started and now let me move to the node machine to see the execution here you can see a new browser instance has been invoked and it moved to the sample web application and now this is going to download the sample doc file so it clicked on the download button and here you can see one file has downloaded with the name file sample underscore 100 kb dot doc but this file is downloaded on the remote machine where selenium node is running and now if i go to my test then here you can see the test has been executed successfully and if i go to the test logs then you can see the downloaded file name is file sample 100 kb so this is the same file which has been downloaded on the remote machine now the next thing is that if you want to read the content of this file then first you have to move that file to your local machine and then you can perform the read and write operations on that file to move that file from the vm to your local machine again there is a method provided by selenium that we can use to download that file from the remote machine to our local machine we can provide the downloaded file name which we want to download from the remote machine and then we have to provide the directory of our local machine where we want to put that file or to copy that file so i'm again going to use the remote web driver object and then we have to call a method download file this method downloads a file where we have to provide the file name and then the correct directory here i'll pass my file name and the file name would be this and then i have to provide the path where i want to put that file i'm going to put that file over here so let me copy the folder path under this folder my file will be placed this is the target directory and now let me run the test again execution is done and we can see the file over here the file downloaded on the remote machine is now available or copied to my local machine also the moment the code execution is done the file is downloaded to my local machine this is how you can download a file from remote machine to your local machine also here you can see that i have increased the waiting time to 10 seconds instead of 5 seconds because the file downloading was taking time so i increased this to 10 seconds but that wait time is not fixed 
This might take more than 10 seconds if the file size is big. So we do not know how much time the file is going to take based on the server response or based on the network latency. So instead of putting the hard coded weight, we should put a web driver weight. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove this weight. And then I'm going to use the web driver object. And let's say the timeout I'm going to provide is 20 seconds. The maximum time is 20 seconds. You can increase or decrease this time based on your requirement. And then what do I need to do? I'll call the wait.until method where I'm going to check whether my downloadable files dot contains and then I can search whether it contains my downloaded file. This web driver wait is going to check whether this downloaded file contains this file sample of 100 KB doc or not. If it contains then it will move to the next step. And if not, then it's going to wait for the maximum 20 seconds. Now we do not need to put the hard coded wait. Now I'm going to run my test again. Once the test is executed, then I'll have that downloaded file on my machine. You can see that now it quickly downloaded or copied that file from the remote machine to the local machine because now it did not wait for 10 seconds. Even if it took only one or second to download the file, then immediately it moved to the next line of code to download the file from the remote machine. So this is how we can download a file from the Selenium grid node to client machine where the code is running. And after that, when a file is available on the local machine, then it will be easy to perform the read and write operations. I hope you like this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. Also, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.